Hello everybody, welcome back to another War Thunder dev blog, and we finally, finally have something interesting to talk about. Goodness knows how long it's been since we've had something actually hype come to the game. But here it is, and yes, this is a double video. Today is also my birthday still, and um, for those that saw the video earlier today, the epic M1 Abrams video that I made where I finally play top tier at 12.0 would thoroughly recommend that well now you get a bonus video because War Thunder decides to drop this on my birthday so the T77 E1 the last cowboy and skink and ram 2 news so this is basically a vehicle that has been thoroughly requested if you've um, been following War Thunder forums and news then you'll know a lot of people have been wanting more anti-air vehicles for America because it severely lacks them around the mid-tier and this is the answer well one of the answers anyway if you've been following uh, YouTubers like European Canadian who seems to never stop going on about this stuff well his prayers has been answered and um, they've kind of answered my prayers as well because I wanted this thing too so, at a glance, 6, 50 cows, fast turret reverse and high elevation angles can fire 85 degrees upwards Gunner and commander are exposed, but can fire uh, the guns. Okay, cool. I mean, they only have glass, but I love the look of this thing. Limited anti-tank capability. Well, it's an AA at the end of the day, but great at defeating unarmored vehicles. What vehicles in the game aren't great at defeating unarmored vehicles? Um, so, yeah, we're, you know, I'll, I'll link this down in the description so you can read that at your own will. In short, it's a chaffy, but swap the turret out for a new turret with these funky glass bubbles on top. And six 50 caliber machine guns. I also love how they felt the need to keep the whole machine gun. Um, not sure why. Do you not think six heavy machine guns is enough already? Oh well. The six shooter prototype will be arriving at the early ranks of the American Ground Force Tree in the next major update. So this means that dev blog season has officially begun. This is going to be a um, tech tree vehicle by the looks of it. So, yeah, this won't be Battle Pass, this won't be Event, this will be part of the major update. The USA has been missing some SPAA diversity in the earlier ranks, so we're very happy, and we are very happy, that the T-77E1 is ready to join the game. And thanks to its more forgiving attributes, it's it'll make a fine partner for several strong lineups well beyond its battle rating. We also have something to talk about regarding the Skink and Ram 2, and I'm pretty sure I know what it is, but... Uh, first, let's talk about the T-77. Ups the firepower drastically from the M-16, featuring six 50 cows rather than four, and you should have, um, well, you've got 900 rounds of ammunition each, so you're not going to run out of ammo anytime soon. The platform is also impressively equipped for com combating low-flying aircraft on the spur of the moment. It can point upwards almost 85 degrees, in addition of having fast tra traverse speed of 65 degrees per second with a top crew. That is uh, very good. So yeah, uh, also it is a chaffy, so it's going to have slightly better protection from air attacks than the M16. Since the internal workings take up a fair bit of room, the gunner and commander are positioned slightly outside of the turret. Their plexiglass housing offers no tangible protection against incoming fire. So in other words, expect to have your gunner knocked out fairly often. But as the T-77E1 features tandem controls, both the crew members can fire the guns. So if the gunner is knocked out, the commander can just keep firing, which is awesome. While the hull remains functionally identical to the regular chaffy, the turret protection is reduced, obviously. The overall thickness is 12.7 millimeters. Okay, so maybe not that much turret, not that much protection over the M16, but still better. Same thickness as the M18 Hellcat, so yeah, have fun with that. Enough to withstand small arms fire, but not much else. Thanks to the chaffy hull, the T77E1 maintains the same impressive mobility, allowing it to traverse the map and reposition quickly to remain less predictable. T77E1 will remain fairly comfortable SPAA to use. Its sustained fast traverse speed will make tracking enemy aircraft nice and easy. The six guns will also accommodate for some degree of inaccuracy thanks to their widespread of fire, meaning enemy aircraft should think twice before standoff with this one. Awesome! Um, not sure what battle rating it is because they'll say they said the low ranks, which uh, honestly, the US needs more mid ranks. Uh, well, it depends on what War Thunder calls low ranks anymore. They probably call 5.0 low. Um, uh, I'll expect this to be around 4.7, maybe. Doesn't have much anti tank capability, but it is an AA first, so use it as that. Oh, yeah, and the Ram 2, something that 
um, players have been requesting for ages to go to Britain is finally going to Britain. Uh, because a lot of Canadian vehicles in game are in the British tech tree, so it would only make sense that they get the Ram 2 as well. And um, yeah, that's a nice change. But this means it will remain in the US tree and in the British tree at the same time. So uh, yeah, although the one in the British tree gets a unique Canadian skin, which will be very nice. Both vehicles will not be removed from their current trees, and um, as a reverse, the skink goes to the US tree as well. Uh, fair enough, just to help them out. So now America gets a 5.3 AA, I think the skink is 5.3. That's all from us today. The T-77 will be arriving with the skink to the American Ground Forces tree and the next major update to help keep the skies clear, with Great Britain also receiving the Ram 2. We'll see you again. Wonderful. And there's some advertisement for some starter packs. So it's actually quite a good deal. Uh, <laughs> I was not paid to say that. Um, finally! We'll just send that. There you go. Yes. Wonderful. So people are going to be... Um, going to be very excited to see that. It is a very cute little tank. Look at this. It's adorable. And it's so funny at the same time. It looks like something out of... Um, Warhammer to be honest. Maybe that's just me. Maybe it's just so many guns in a small area. I don't know. So well done War Thunder. You've finally done it. You've finally made people happy. More of this please. I know it's no Starfire. Yes, the obligatory Starfire mention. But it is a step in the right direction. So thank you so much. Anyways, that's all we've got for today. If you like this video then do hit the like button. Comment down below what you think of the T77E1 coming to the game. Are you happy? Well you should be because basically everybody is. And um... More importantly, check out the other video I released earlier today on me finally playing top tier. It should be popping up on the screen right now. So uh, that's all we've got, and I'll catch you in the next one.